Okay, here we are factoring trinomials. Here we go, mathematician, you've got this. So remember, if you need to stop and make a flashcard, these are my steps to factoring a trinomial. First, I'm going to find the factors of all the numbers. Then I'm going to use my diamond problem to determine what my terms will be. Then I will write the terms in factored form. Looks kind of like a binomial. Now remember, my diamond problem, the product is up at the top. That is my C. And my sum is going to end up being my B. So I will show you how to do that in our example. Okay, here's a trinomial. Remember, tri means three terms. And I want to turn this into factored form, where it's going to be like two binomials times each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my numbers, and I'm going to find my factors. So I'm going to look at what are the numbers that 6 goes into. Oh, let me do my diamond problem. And you know what? Let's do it right there. Oh, my paper's just really wiggly today. Okay, so when I add my numbers together, my terms, they are going to equal 6 a positive 6. When I multiply my two terms together, so this is what I'm looking for, I'm looking for my two terms. When I multiply them, they're going to equal negative 16. So since they are going to equal negative 16, that means one of my terms has to be negative. So I'm going to start with my 16, my negative 16. Now I notice that when I add my terms together, they become positive, which tells me that my largest number has to be positive. So my smallest number will be negative. My largest number will be positive. So what equals a negative 16? Well, I know negative 1 times 16. I know negative 2 times 8. 3 does not go in. 4 goes in, so I can have a negative 4 times a positive 4. And since I have two numbers next to each other, I know that I am done finding my factors. Now, these are all three ways I can make a negative 16. I need to figure out which of these three sets of terms will equal 6 when I add them. So if it helps, come back and write in that add. So I'm going to turn this into addition. Negative 1 plus 16 is a um, positive 15. Negative 2 plus 8 equals a 6. And a negative 4 plus a positive 4 will equal 0. I notice that this set of terms, my negative 2 and my positive 8, equal 6, which is what I'm looking for. So this is going to be negative 2 and this is going to be 8. Those are my terms. So now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to write my terms in factored form. So I'm going to set up my parentheses and I notice that I need, um, I have two a's, a times a, so I can divvy those up. I give an a to each one. Then I take a look at my terms. I have a minus 2 and I have a positive 8. And so that is my trinomial and a factored form. Now if I wanted to check and make sure I was right, I can work it backwards and see if I've got the right answer. So notice that I have a minus 2 and then I have a plus 8. A times A is A squared. A times negative 2 is negative 2A. A times 8 is 8A. And negative 2 times positive 8 is negative 16. When I put these together, I get A squared. Negative 2 and a positive 8A is a positive 6A. And then I'm left over with my negative 16. And notice that my checked is the same as my original. And that is how you factor trinomials.